Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIABS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. My dear student, today is our lesson number 16 of half yearly 2021. And our today's topic is chapter 3 cbq number 1 my dear student there is no hw today but you should bear in mind that this cbq 1 will be very very important for your half yearly exam okay so you must do this as your cw and practice more and more at home okay so in order to solving this math at first we need to read this whole question okay so read the sum of the age of father and his son is 80 years father's age is four times of the age of son by using this information we shall solve question number a b c and d question a is sum of father's and son's age is how many times of son's age okay question number b is find the father's age question number c what will be their age after eight years question number d if son's age is half of the mother's then find out the mother's age okay so my dear student by using this information we shall solve a b c and d so the stem the sum of the age of father and his son is eight years this is on information and another one is father's age is four times of the age of son okay notice sum of the father's and son age is how many times of son's age dear student notice father's age is four times of the age of son so what will be the son's age is how many times of the age of son that will be one times then we add that total times and we get five times so that five times will be the answer of this question question number b find the father is how can we find out father says my dear student this is the total age of father and son which is 80 years and their total age is five times of son says so if we divide this 80 by the total five times then we get the age of son okay and you notice father's age is four times of son says now we multiply son is with 4 and we get the father says what will be there is after 8 years my dear student from question b we have already found out the age of son and age of father so we add 8 with their is separately and we get their is after 8 years okay so see done question number d if son's age is half of the mother's what do you mean by this information it means mother age is two times of son's is we have already found from question number b uh, the son is okay so we multiply two with son is and we get the is of mother it is so easy question now we shall solve okay so first question number a father's age is 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 four times of sons is and sons sons is is one time of sons is now sum of their is is we do addition that means five times of sums is i hope you have understood now this is the answer five times okay so my dear student this is the solution of question number A. Next, we shall find out 
question number B's solution. Okay. So we erase this. Question number B. First of all, we write from A. Sorry. Yes, from A we get. From A we get sum of their is is five times of sums is and given that given that the uh, the sum of the is of father and his son is 80 years okay so now if we divide this total years by total times then we get the age of son so right the age of son is the age of son is 80 divided by 5 years if we divide 80 by 5 then we get 5 on the 5 that means if we subtract 5 from 8 then we get 3 that means 30 in 30 5 goes in 6 times 16 years so if you can't do division here then in this section you can show it 5 divided by 80 5 on the 5 subtract 3 0 in 35 goes in 6 times 5 6 are 30 0 okay so 16 years this is the age of son now by using this information we can easily find out the age of father because we know from the stem that father says is four times of the son is so right so the age of father the age of father will be 16 multiplied by 4 years okay 4 6 are 24 carrying 2 4 on the 4 to 6 64 years so we need to find out the father's age only so here we write answer father's is 64 years okay i hope you have understood dear student next we shall solve question number c what will be there what is after eight years that means their present age is uh, son present age is 16 years and father's present age is 64 years so what will be their age after eight years we just add eight with 16 then we get age of son and we add 64 with 8 then we get the age of father after 8 years okay so write question number c c so first of all we need the information from b we get from b we get the age of son is 16 years and the age of father is 64 years okay now we can easily find out the age of father and son after eight years so right after eight years the is of son will be 16 plus 8 years that means 8 and 6 14 and 24 years okay so first one is done then similar way after 8 years the 
is of father will be 64 multiplied by 8 years that means 8 and 4 12 carrying on 6 and on 7 72 years so answer done so we write answer fathers is 72 years and sons is 24 years okay so question number c done next we shall solve question number d if sons age is half of the age of mother then find out the age of mother okay so question number d and in order to solving d we need the information that the age of son so from b we get the age of son is 16 years and no need to the information of the age of father okay so d number from b we get the age of son is 16 years okay and given that what given given the son's age is half of the age of mother write it the age of son the age of son is half of the age of mother we know by the information that the age of mother is two times of the age of son so right so the age of mother equal to two times of the age of son and we have already find the age of son in question number b and which is 16 years i write here can you write years okay years then 16 to the 32 years and this is the answer of question number d mothers is 32 years okay my dear student this is our today's lecture i hope you have understood my today's lecture and you must do it uh, at your cw at home okay so my dear student there is no sw today you must practice it this more and more okay keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum